up in the Sri Lanka innings. And let's take a look at some of the highlights. He played beautifully, didn't he? I thought uh, the pitch was really good to bat on and uh, he was aided with some uh, loser deliveries. Few short one, few pull. That's a Dilshan favourite. Trademark shot. And once again, 400 at Palak. He's got an amazing record. Indeed, an excellent record uh, by uh, Dilshan. And Abdul Razak, uh, what a performer. 5 for 62. And he became the first Bangladeshi to get 200 wickets in ODI cricket and best ever bowling performance for Bangladesh against Sri Lanka. Let's uh, take a look at the target. Bangladesh need 303 to win and just a little bit over six runs and over. And a little bit uh, better than a runner ball. Short wide put away for that is the poor delivery but nicely played away on the offside by Namalak Bijoy. That was too wide from Kulasekara. No real feet movement, but still a very good shot by Inamul Haq. Had plenty of uh, space outside the off stump. Look at his feet, didn't move at all. But his bat did the talking, that's what mattered. The ball came off the middle of the bat. Goes again. Four more runs. Seem to enjoy that shot, hitting it on the up rather than really leaning into it. That's another indication of his approach. Look at it again. Didn't lean into it. I just stood there and drove. I think that's a better looking shot. At least he was leaning into it. Let's see. Cleverly bold and very well played as well. That was a slower Yorker and Enamul possibly waiting for it. Did well to hit it through the line. It's 28 without loss. Off the outside edge, it will race down to the boundary. The useful runs for Bangladesh. Enamul Haq playing it with very soft hands. Just pass slip. I'll be happy to take the boundary. Yes, uh, played with soft hands. Once again, finding the outside edge. This time going uh, to the boundary. But slowly and surely, Bangladesh going in a very healthy run rate. Don't forget that. 7.07. Uh, Bulawayo in 2009 against Zimbabwe. Ashraful gets a boundary. Driving square. He ends the over in grand style. 38 without loss. Early days in the sixth over. They've not managed to dislodge the opening partnership. Goes again. Through extra cover. On the up. And in the gap. 44 without loss. Ambula in 2009. So if Bangladesh gets to the 300, it will be the highest ever in Sri Lanka. Ashraful once more finishes the over with a boundary. He's done it on three occasions now. 49 without loss. This time he gets it though. That's a brilliant whip off the pads. A glorious shot. In fact, uh, it was just around the area that he's sort of been waiting for. He just shuffled a little bit and got it nicely into the gap. He's a treat, Mohamed Ashraful. Wenon Song, one of the better players to watch. Again, the reason why he made good contact was that he looked to hit it with a fuller face and in fact surprised Malinga too, confidently to a ball that really is not going to turn the way in which uh, they wouldn't expect it. That's a beautiful shot, just look at that. Just came down very hard, just a little bit of width into the overs, 69 without loss. That's pulled away, what a good shot that was. Just a trifle short, he got nicely inside the line and um, got his wrist over too. Namul, just the foil Ashraful needs. Going at almost a runner ball and gets it in front of square. Not an express pitch and also it's Angelo Matthews who's both. It's been some time ago, isn't it? I'm surprised it's in 1997, Atar Ali Khan. 
and he's got him. Just what the Sri Lankans needed. Wasn't a short delivery. Ashraful opting to play it late off the back foot. Yes, I thought Ashraful was getting a little too complacent at that time. You know, um, he felt that uh, Sachitra was getting easy, but Sachitra is that kind of bowler who really could spring a surprise. Oh, that was straight going through to hit off stump. Ashraful not happy. But Nigel Long did not hesitate. Got a start once again. Gone for 29. Bangladesh are 77 for 1. Being called for. And um, the drizzle getting heavier, one would imagine. Yes, this is the best option so that the wicket stays dry and we can come back. And hopefully play the six overs required to get a result. If Bangladesh hadn't lost a wicket, all they would have required at the end of 20 overs was 79. Because they're one wicket down. Now that's up to 92. Unfinished over from Kulasekara. And straight away, Jairul into action, steering it down to third man and good aggressive running as well. So straight away, the Bangladeshis setting their stall out. Well, 103 of 79 balls now. And I think Bangladesh will uh, need a few shots like that or more aggressive strokes. But the important thing is to make sure that that gap between balls and runs is, is not widened. Bangladesh will want it uh, always reduced. Edged past Sangakara, there's no slip, down to the boundary for four. This outfield was completely covered during the rain break, so it's still fast. 84 for one, Bangladesh in 14 overs. Bangladesh's revised target, 183 in 27. For another 99 runs required from 13 overs, they've got nine wickets in hand. Here's the Sara Pereira. Well, the stats very much in favour of Bangladesh here. The statistician Rajneesh Gupta has just handed me a piece of paper. Nine out of the last ten games decided by Duckworth Lewis in Sri Lanka have been won by the side batting second. Allocated six. Cut away for four. He hit that like a rocket. It went through Dilshan at backward point. That was beautifully timed. This is an ideal uh, kind of situation for Jehirul because he's a powerful striker, aggressive player. And that just raced away to the boundary, short and wide. And it was timed so well that Dilshan hardly had any time. Let off all the same for Jairul. And it's beaten the inside edge, and that will run down to the boundary for four. It's gone down as buys. So it cut back off the seam. Beat the batsman, and Kumar Sangakara behind the stumps too. Early the rubber, the green, uh, going Bangladesh's way since uh, play resumed. That came back a long way, and Sangakara had to change course. Well, no fault of the bowler. Back would have square on the offside. A short ball and they scamper through for a quick single leg by signaled by umpire Nigel Long which is a frantic start to this act Jairul goes down the ground he's hit that well Fuller Saker is down there at long on and he's done well too that was a good bit of fielding to keep the batsman down to a single great piece of cricket by uh, Nuan Kulasekara practice in the air, sliced off the outside edge, it's going to drop safe between three fielders. Well, fortune favours the brave there for Enamel. But they're throwing their bat at everything. And uh, they're looking to try and uh, have this target under control. Still a little bit behind. And he was looking to go over extra cover, that bat turn. As a result of it, it luckily for him, went behind point and fell between three converging fielders. Down the wicket, it's in the air again. And again, three fielders chasing after it. Oh, what a good catch that is. Dinesh Chandimal, he's not got the gloves on today. 
but he made no mistake there. That really was an outstanding piece of outfielding. Never easy, I can tell you, catches like that are never easy. He was running back and he had to take it over his shoulder. Never an easy catch. High catches are never easy, but particularly catches like this when you're running back. Look how high it went. He had to run back, he had to keep his eyes on the ball and make sure he caught it as it fell over his shoulder. Great catch. And the catchers like this can lift a team. He's gone for 40, 97 for 2. By Salcom, and there's some of our sponsors down there next to the branding, giving us a wave. They're happy we've got some action. An action we've got, plenty of it as well. As Jairo punches that one down the ground. Is this the right approach, Roshan? I'm not very sure about it, uh, Brian, at all, because Bangladesh seem to be in a mighty hurry. We're talking about seven and a half runs and over, and, uh, well, it appears that they're chasing a target of about 15 runs and over because they're going at every ball. There's great age urgency about the way they're batting, particularly Jairo, who's looking to blast every ball, running at every given opportunity. Heaved away through backward square leg for four. Well, he attempted that shot, the ball before, and missed. But he got that one right out of the middle of the bat. He liked that. Bangladesh uh, will value such shots and boundaries because it brings them closer to the target. And the gap between uh, runs and balls now reduced to 16. They'll want that reduced as much as they can. Heaved away through the onside again. Jivan Mendes is out there and he's done really well. That was terrific. Moving to his wrong side and getting rid of the ball really quickly, keeping the batsman down to just a single. Once again, Mushfika Rahim looking to go through that mid-wicket area. Atisara Pereira knows to bowl in uh, T20 cricket. He's highly experienced, so Sri Lankan approach will be. Clobbered through the offside by Jay Rule. Hit that beautifully, but straight to the fielder. Just a single. Seven. Angelo Matthews in action. It's sliced down towards third man. Brilliant effort. I think it's Kula Sacra down there, and it's gone for four. Well, aren't they happy? This Sarah Pereira made a desperate effort. It was a tough one for him. He had to make the decision between coming for the catch and also saving the boundary. And he went for the catch. Good effort. But just eluding him. Down to the boundary. Valuable runs for Bangladesh. At this stage, you should be backing the batting side in a T20 game. 72 or 59. I would say nine times out. Always set aside back. And he's worked that one away nicely. Malinga's up in the circle. Good work from him chasing back to keep the batsman down to two. What is the approach from a bowling side here? It just block. Heaved away over square leg by Jairo. Just a single. Herschel's out. It's nicely steered away down towards third man. Good work from Fisara Pereira down there. Again worked away, and that's through Malinga at short fine leg, and it's gone for four. This is a big over, excellent over, and with some sensible batting by Bangladesh. Twelve runs already of five balls, with minimum risks. Just look at this, just working a ball on the leg stump, with Malinga inside the 30-yard circle. The timing, that ball raced away to the boundary. Malinga will feel he should have done better there. But that's the pressure of the situation. Edged. And what a good end to the over for Sri Lanka. 12 runs had come from it. But now Jairo, whose innings was a frantic one to say the least, has been dismissed and has the pendulum swung again. Well, I'm not very sure about it because Bangladesh uh, have it within striking uh, distance, but uh, that was unnecessary. He's got 12 runs in the over, and he still went at a delivery wide of the stumps.
Nasser Hossein in the first one day international down in Hamburg Total he got 73 from 59 balls so this is just his situation you would imagine scamper through for a quick single well you'd say this is Senanaka's situation because he's a big money signing for Kolkata Knight Riders so after this tour is over he'll be heading to India that's an indication that he's been uh Highly respected as a bowler, Sachitra Sinanayaka. His strength is his accuracy, the variety he bowls to create that angle from round the wicket. But Nasir Hussain, he is a real danger man from a Sri Lankan point of view. He can hit the ball hard, aggressive player, an ideal, ideal uh, batsman to have for Bangladesh. And slid across him and round the wicket, Senanaika. Escher just switches to the batsman. It's a bad ball. It releases the pressure to a point, Sachitra Senanaika. Just sliding down the leg side, but this has been a good over. Two runs. And that's a bad ball. It's put away for four. Nobody out there protecting the offside boundary. And Nasser Hossein off the mark in some style. Well, it speaks of what this man can do. He's a very dangerous player, Nasser Hossein. Tends to pounce on anything loose. Has a good repertoire of strokes. Can score runs right round the wicket just like that. They can reap the rewards of making him bowl five. Change of ends, fourth is Pereira. It's wet out there. The ball will slip through, run out opportunity. Tisara Pereira gets his man. Bushwick Rahim does not stop for the umpire's decision. But look at what the big man's done. Bangladesh digging a hole for themselves. It just seems that uh, they just cannot uh, hold on to their nerves. There was never a run there. Big effort, brilliant effort uh, from the big man. And hitting the stumps, sending back uh, Mushfiqur Rahim, the captain, for nine. Run out. Bangladesh, 126 for four. Kit. Classic drive. They'll get two. Jeevan Mendes has work to do. And he's also looking for wickets. He knows. That's the only way he can control this game. He's got to slip to find ways to build pressure. Could have easily gone on to the stumps that time. Hitting Mohamedullah Riyad on his pads. Circle. Because they don't mind conceding the single in this situation. We've had 20 overs. It's 130 for four. Top shot, that'll be four. Nasser Hussain opting to time the ball rather than smash it. And that's a, also a very good way, positive way of playing shots into the ground. This is like you said, didn't try to hit it too hard. Make sure he founds the gap because I mentioned earlier it has been a very quick outfield. Look at that. Strays on the leg side this time. Leg buys. Yes, it is. But Bangladesh will not complain. They want the four runs. I think this partnership is going to be uh, of mighty importance for Bangladesh. Yes, they picked up uh, two boundaries in uh, consecutive deliveries. This was off the pads, straining down the leg side. But they need to bat through and they need to bat till the very end. Guided by the Dr. Lewis method. This time able to complete the single and that win came in the Asia Cup match in Mirpur in 2012 yeah, they had a fantastic Asia Cup went on to play the final and lost to Pakistan in three balls just like that you still have 43 balls 38 balls to get those runs so you don't want to finish it 
in 10 or 15. If it happens, so be it. But you need to plan on the long run. Hesitation. He had given up Nasser Hussain. He was left for dead if Dilshan had been able to hit the stumps. They've lost uh, Mushfiq Rahim in a similar kind of fashion. And you've already picked up 11 runs, 12 runs. And look at that. Nowhere near the stumps. He would have been gone, luckily. And 41 for fourth in Bangladesh. They've got this game well and truly under control. Deep are the three on the onside in the long off. Mamadullah Riyad called early. You have to help your partner. The dot delivery would certainly create pressure on both the batsmen. The first one was a dot and then uh, playing with soft end and taking uh, the quick single. He's not a big turner, Sachitra Senanayaka, but bowls great angles. He's got the Duzra going. Has the ability to vary his pace and length. Tight again, Dilshan it is. Nasser Hossein, and here's his bonus. Couldn't get the direct hit when he wanted it. And Nasser Hussain is very quick uh, between the wickets, probably the quickest in the Bangladesh team. And uh, took Dilchan on. Just walking across, he's strolling across. And then realizing that that is ricocheted off the wicket. Another run added. The field is also creeping in. Look at extra cover, mid wicket. Trying to come in on the one. Ah, yeah! And he's given him. River sweep attempted. And another one falls. They're digging themselves there in a very bigger hole here. He cannot believe it. Only got himself to blame. Playing a reverse. Let's see where it's pitched. Pitched on line. Hmm. It is a reverse. And the umpire deciding in favor of the bowler. He's not happy. He's gone for six. 144 for five. It's off the mark. But Sachitra Senanayaka gets through a superb over for Sri Lanka. Four runs and the wicket. 22 overs gone, 145 for five. Please, their fear. Well, that's brilliantly fielded the captain. In the end, they take a single. And Nigel Long's going to go upstairs. Yes, he's certainly looking to make confirmation because he um, doesn't really want to keep it to chance. But a great bit of fielding, and this is where the Sri Lankans have lifted their game. Just look at this. I think he's all right. Not too many problems there. That really was top-class work from Matthews in the covers. And good work from Fisara Pereira as well to get behind the stump so quickly. And after all that... Edged, is it? Not out, says Nigel Long. And the batsman scamper through for a single. Kumar Sangakara had thrown the ball up in the air, absolutely convinced it was an outside edge. Nigel Long signals leg by. And at the end of it, another run. Yes, a run in vain, in fact. Uh, Kumar Sangakara just put that ball up in the air, thinking that uh, it had taken an edge. Oh, not quite sure what it was, but there certainly was a sound of good ball. Of would think that looks like a good decision on first view to me there Oops, it clipped the back thigh Sangakara thought it was an outside edge Pan Nigel Long was the only man who counted 
Mominal whips it away. Beautiful timing out towards deep mid wicket. Bushel Janeth Pereira is out there, and the batsman able to come back for a couple. Nationals have been decided by Duckworth Lewis in Sri Lanka. They've all been won by the side batting second. Ugly heave from Mominal. Scampers through for another quick single. His stock in trade is to time the ball beautifully. He didn't do it on that occasion, but that single enough to bring up the 150. I'm desperate running between wickets, taking their chances. Here's another. Who's coming in, but um, there is desperate running. Here. So Hussain heaves that one out to deep mid-wicket. Ivan Mendes is out there. Just a single. The ball's getting softer and that early surge of boundaries have dried up. Ball's stopping on its way at times. So the batsmen have to get their timing right. That was again an ill-time shot. Just the single. Gets the left-handed Mominal back on strike. Clipped away, officially through mid-wicket, that'll be four. Fielder out there on the boundary is very square. Mominal finds the gap. He's on to nine at the end of the over, 155 for five. Chipped up Ishli, over the bowler's head by Nasser Hossein. They think about two. It's not there. It's a good bit of work there. Dinesh Chandim out. There'll be one more. This is uh, Sri Lanka's last one-day international before the Champions Trophy, the ICC Champions Trophy. first game in that tournament against New Zealand at Cardiff on the 9th of June they won this tournament or the Champions Trophy remember joint winners with India in 2002 the full toss not taken advantage of by Nassar Hussain he's picked out the fielder he'll be frustrated at that it's at the end there's Marlinger to bowl those last that last over beautifully bowled again they could get two. No, that's good work again. Hearing in off the boundary. That's Kula Sekera, and he's done well. What a good over this has been by Senanayake. Just four singles and a dot ball. Just what the doctor ordered as far as Sri Lanka is concerned. It's also been hampered by a dampish ball. It's not easy to grip. right back on the edge of the circle Angelo Matthews but what a good over five singles from it and this match very much in the melting pot Bangladesh 23 from 18 there are 160 for five going to be bowling to Nasser Hossein short ball comes off the toe of the bat and it's gone for four skidding off the surface Third man is quite fine, but not fine enough. Yes, he is a flamboyant player, Nasser Hussein, and uh, he's taken on Lasit Malinga, uh, giving himself room. Not a convincing shot, but all the same, four runs, and Bangladesh will take all or whatever runs they could get at this stage. An interesting decision to use Malinga now. The theory being, presumably, if he can bowl a tight over at this stage, puts Bangladesh well behind the asking rate oh and that's a wayward delivery down the leg side an easy decision for Nigel Long well the one theory is if he can bowl a tight over it puts Bangladesh really behind the eight ball if he bowls a loose over gets Bangladesh very close to the finishing line yes I think in length you can be sure Nassau are saying will look to go down the ground with force but it's short. He's hit that right off the middle of the bat, but straight to Jivan Mendes. Oh, he's a very good player, Nasser Hussain. And uh, as long as he's there, Bangladesh, uh, no doubt, would be fancying their chances. Almost took the head off the umpire, Ruchida Pali or Gurugay off. off. Yeah! The 
appeal for a catch behind the wicket. And he walks. So we said wickets were the key for Sri Lanka. And that man Malinga, he's just produced one. Yes, as things are just drifting away for Sri Lanka, Malinga strikes and a good wicket. It was a new batsman, the left-hander, and um, just a faint touch, and Sangakkara doing the rest. So Sri Lanka still keeping their hopes alive in this game. Asit Malinga gets the wicket. Nominal Huck perishes for 11. Bangladesh won 66 for 6. Short ball, and it's flat batted to extra cover. Well, poor old Zia Rahman didn't score in his first one day international, and he's not scored again. Still waiting his first run in this form of the game. And Lassith Malinga, well, cometh the hour, cometh the man. Two wickets in the over. Yes, this game certainly turning on its head, and a very, very good catch indeed. Zia Rahman um, looking to get bat on ball just find the fielder and he too perishes without scoring Bangladesh 166 for 7 Nasser Hussein off strike carved through the offside who's hit that like a rocket no chance at all for Jivan Mendes to get around to that one a what brilliant time boundary. of the ball brilliant time of the ball and uh, again beating the man at that sweeper position Quite a brave shot to play at this stage of the innings, which um, runs to be made. The bottom hand came off the bat there, and yet he still timed it superbly. And that's well wide and signalled as such by umpire Uchiriya Leguragay. some desperation from the Sri Lankans too. Is it a Pereira just uh, trying to look to get into that corridor going outside that uh, guideline for the wide. The captain trying to calm him down, give him that confidence. All tension here. Heaved over mid on. And it's gone for four. And Nasser Hossein appears to be taking Bangladesh towards victory. I'm joined here now by Atta Ali Khan and Nasser Hossein. Two really important shots in this over. First one carved through cover. And the second clobbered over wide mid on. 28 from 24 balls now. And that's a, what an important contribution. Well, he has been uh, the Mr. Consistent uh, for Bangladesh, Nasir Hussain. And he stayed consistent, thankfully. They still need a few more runs, eight more runs required, because I think they've lost a lot, too many wickets. And you can see the tension in the dressing room. But uh, it's uh, still within their grasp as long as this man on screen stays, Nasir Hussain. Oh, it's just steer it down towards third man, misses. Not a bad option. Had it come off the bat, it would have gone finer. And if you look at the fielder, at third man is quite wide. And the outfield is very very fast indeed Sri Lanka needs wickets Bangladesh needs eight runs to win they had a terrific series the last one day series they played against West Indies won that two out of three and then went on to win the next one heaved away up Ishley, out towards deep mid wicket and it's gone for four the third boundary in the over for Nasser Hossein and Bangladesh on the brink of victory well, that will certainly release some pressure. What an innings this is turning out to be from the youngster. It was short, but he was not afraid to hit it into that same direction that it picked up a boundary. One bounce over to the fence. Terrific shot under pressure, and he delivers. 
inching closer to the victory. He smiles there, Ed, in the middle. Shohead Ghazi. No smiles for that man. But there, just a little bit of attention relieved. Still, the game needs to be won, though. Palm down to third man, it's in the air. And is it out? No. Kulasekera throws the ball back in. Did he keep it in the field? That's what's going to be checked now. Or did it go for six? If it's gone for six, it's the match to Bangladesh. Well, millions back home uh, would be thinking that's uh, six because uh, he had caught that and he just flew off. Oh, terrific effort and realizing that he's jumping over. Now then, that is the question. Did he hit his foot onto the ropes? He's uh, pulled it back, but I'm not too sure. Probably they'll have a look uh, from different angles. Well, he got rid of the ball, but did he touch the rope there? I'm not sure he did. I didn't see the rope move. It was a brilliant piece of work from Kulasekera. Is it enough to keep Sri Lanka in the match? The third umpire is looking at this. Tiron, would you warden it? Terrific stuff. As you might expect, the third umpire taking his time to make sure he comes up with the correct decision. That's a great presence of mind from Kulis. That's a fantastic catch. And realizing that he's getting over to the boundary ropes, flicks it back. And flicks it back a little bit too much. Runs given. Superb work from Kulis Sacra. He's just kept his side in contention. Only just... Batsman only took one. Slogged in the air. It's gone over the top of the keeper for four. Bangladesh win. Their first win over Sri Lanka in Sri Lanka in 16 attempts in one-day international cricket. And only the second time Bangladesh have drawn a one-day international series. There's the man who made such a difference, Nasser Hossein. Fantastic innings from him. 33 not out from 27 balls. Victory for Bangladesh, the series is shared. Look at the elation in the dressing room. Atta Ali Khan, Nasser Hossein, what a hero. Yeah, a hero of uh, 160 million people back home watching this. And they would be standing up and applauding. What an effort, terrific effort from the youngster Nasser Hossein. Mushfiqur Rahim also feeling very happy and relieved indeed. And then it also shows how consistent they have stayed especially in this form of the game. They beat West Indies 3-2, had a wonderful Asia Cup, and now coming back and beating Sri Lanka in their own den. First time ever, and squaring the series. Magnificent effort. And so Hussain taking a stump for himself. He deserves it. But it was Shohak Ghazi who hit the winning runs. Nowhere near off the middle of the bat, but who cares from a Bangladesh point of view? Looking for the big leg side hit, the top edge. One bounce for four, and that's what it means. Lovely scenes here. Fantastic effort, turning out to be a very good game in the end, and Bangladesh winning it uh, by three wickets. Bangladesh first ODI win versus Sri Lanka in Sri Lanka, and what a win this is turning out, this has turned out to be. They did well, Sri Lankans. Don't forget that they managed to pick up seven wickets. That's where they created the pressure. But it was Nasser Hussain who was standing tall among them. The end, they won with six balls to spare. A little bit in hand. Here's how Bangladesh got that win. Remember, Sri Lanka made 302 for nine. Bangladesh were going nicely when it rained. We had a lengthy delay and uh, a revised target of 183 in 27 overs. And uh, well, in the end, thanks to Nasser Hossein's contribution, fantastic innings, including three fours in uh, one over. 33 not out he made, with contributions from the other players down the order in support of him. He was able to get Bangladesh across the line. Bowling figures, well, Sri Lanka were handicapped a little bit in that uh, after the rain break, Lasith Malinga could only bowl one more over picked up two wickets in that one over. There were two wickets for the off-spinner Senanayaka. He bowled beautifully. 
and two for Angelo Matthews as well. On top of that, there was a run out. It was a difficult situation for the Sri Lankans. They fought hard, but in the end, it wasn't quite enough. Bangladesh securing their victory by three wickets under the Duckworth Lewis method. And with match two washed out, we end up with a shared series, one apiece.